In the year 1824, Michael Faraday created the first balloon, and has since then been used for all sorts of things from being decorations at a birthday party to measuring barometric pressure to being the holding place for that stuff that makes your voice squeaky. And let's face it, we've all known that absolutely defeated feeling you get when you accidentally let one go and it flies endlessly into the sky, but have you ever wondered where that balloon goes to? How high do balloons travel, and is there some limit? That's what we're going to find out in this episode of Stuff You've Probably Wondered. To even begin to answer this question, we have to first understand what it is about helium balloons that makes them ascend into the air. The answer is that helium as a gas has less density than the air outside, and because the law of the land, or in this case the air, is all about equilibrium, the balloon will continue to rise because the air outside is trying to make the density inside the same as outside. Imagine if you were to take a balloon and stick a needle in it. When you do this, the sudden change in air pressure makes the balloon burst as air from the inside settles outside to make both pressures the same. This is different from letting air out at the end of the balloon because you are gradually letting air out rather than all at once by changing air pressure instantly. So how high can a balloon go exactly? If we use the physics of air pressure we just examined, then technically forever. Because it's lighter than air, a balloon doesn't need to worry about having to go so fast it breaks free of the gravity pulling it down, unlike heavier objects like a space shuttle. But balloons do pop eventually, usually by leaking helium or just a general change in air pressure. As you drift further from the Earth itself and out of the atmosphere, air pressure changes and this is usually the final blow for balloons. Get it? Blow. Anyway, as far as actual testing is concerned, your average everyday balloon can usually go up about 10 kilometers away from the surface of the Earth, while weather balloons, unmanned objects that measure air pressure, can go about 30 kilometers into the air. But what about manned balloons? Hot air balloons are controlled by humans, so they have to be able to go higher without throwing caution to the wind. See what I did there? Wind. No more puns? Alright, fine. The truth is that while hot air balloons are able to fly substantially higher than your average party balloon, it's less than a weather balloon, only about 20 kilometers. The reason these guys can't fly as high is because they fly only through the use of hot air, which always rises. Thus, hot air balloons rely solely on buoyancy. As the air pressure drops the higher you go, the air pressure in the balloon must drop too, and there comes a point where its pressure can't drop any lower. As for the highest a balloon has ever traveled, that trophy goes to the BU-61 High Altitude Balloon launched in 2002. It reached a max altitude of 53 kilometers, which is just over halfway to the traditional edge of space. And speaking of space, is there a way for a balloon to reach it? From what we've understood so far, balloons can keep going provided the air density is always lower than that outside. While it's generally thought balloons will fly until they reach the edge of the atmosphere, George Musser of Scientific American believes they can indeed fly forever provided the air inside the balloon has less stuff in it than the near vacuum of space. His reasoning is that since space does have trace particles, about 5 per cubic centimeter in the interplanetary medium, in it, the balloon could potentially drift on forever, exploring the universe as much as a tiny balloon can. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, or have an original song you'd like me to put in the background of a future video, leave it in the comments or email me at stuffyouprobablywondered at gmail.com. Also in the comments, share your thoughts on Musser's assumption. Do you think a balloon could make it into space? What kind of material would we need to make it out of to make sure it doesn't leak or pop? Either way, I'll see you next time on Stuff You've Probably Wondered.